at this place in history. We're in Burlington, Vermont, and I'm with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, we're in Burlington. What for? We are. So we're standing in front of uh, H. Nelson Jackson's house here on Willard Street in Burlington. Great. So tell us about him. What did he do? Makes him famous. So what makes him famous? All right. It's not the fact that he's a doctor or a really wealthy guy or the fact that he lived here in Burlington, but it was the fact that he drove a car across the United States in 1903. It was the first guy to do that in an automobile. From where to where? So San Francisco. So he huh. went out to San Francisco and was lunching in a, in a you know, a, a Tony club out there and overheard some guys saying, you know, I bet no one can drive one of these newfangled automobiles uh, across the country. And he said, I'll take that. I bet you $50 that I can. No, no interstates. No, no interstates, <laughs> especially we're talking about the western United States where there's deserts and mountains and everything else. So, but he was going to do it. Now, mind you, he didn't have a car. He, he hadn't driven a car. <laughs> so he had to go out into San Francisco and say, who's got a car? And he ended up buying a used Winton automobile. Um, and then he had to go and he had to find some guy to, like, help him. And so he got Sewell Crocker, who's a young bicycle mechanic. In, uh, in San Francisco said, hey, this sounds like a great adventure. I'll come help you. How long did that take? It took him uh, two months and nine days or 68 days um, to make it from San Francisco to New York City. And they drove up through Oregon, over across through Utah and to Nebraska and to Chicago and, and across the country. The, the hardest part was the beginning. It was just getting from San Francisco um, to a point in Utah where they could really start following the railroad. They were getting resupplied by stagecoach. If you can imagine that, <laughs> we're driving a car, the car breaks down, we have to telegraph back to San Francisco so we can get resupplied via stagecoach. And it became the celebration. Every city, every town he came into, people would come out and meet him. And there's a third passenger, correct? He bought a dog, oh. <laughs> right? So he bought a dog, Bud, uh, who was, it was an American bulldog. And that dog learned to sit right on the front seat of that car in someone's lap, and it went, came across the country with them. Now, of course, the sand going across the Midwest was really affecting the dog's eyes. Right. So he got a pair of goggles for the dog. Aww. If you're really interested in what this car looked like, it's at the Smithsonian Institution. So that's how important this drive was. At this place in history. 